the best agent skins in CS2 but we have a limit of $20 per agent and I'll show you combos as well as agents for both the T and the city side. And starting off with the city side we have the B squadron officer and this is like top 3 for me it has long sleeves that are dark slash black on the edge which makes it pretty good for dark combos in general and it is just under the budget for $18. The next one is blueberries buckshot and this one combos perfectly with any bright water skins or just blue skins in general. I love to use it with the Specialist Gloves Mogul, it looks so good and this one is just under $7 so it is very cheap. Next up the Special Agent Ava and if you want an agent to combo with Doppler knives in general I would say that this is the best one but I still can't use this agent for a reason that I can't discuss, if you know you know, if not someone will let you know in the comments but this one costs $13.5. This video was sponsored by Skins Monkey, which is a trading platform where you can trade your old rusty CS2 skins for some new shiny ones in seconds. You just select the skins that you want to trade and the ones that you want to get. You click trade and it's done. If you use my code OSNI on the website you get a bonus of up to $5 for free and a $35 percent bonus when buying balance. They also host giveaways in the freebies page and link to Skins Monkey is in the description. Next up the LT Commander Rigsaw which is the agent that I have been using for a while simply because it is the only one on the city side that has no sleeves. I don't love the look of it though but for the price of $9 the fact that it has no sleeves is actually pretty good. Next up Michael Cyphers the FBI sniper and this one isn't my favorite one but it has long blue slash dark sleeves so if you want to do a blue combo and you have a lower budget this one will work as it only costs $4.8. And then the operator FBI SWAT which is pretty unique as it has long green sleeves so it is overall a very good agent for green skins or green combos in general and it is also pretty cheap because it only costs $5.5. Going over to the T side we have bloody Daryl the strapped and he looks awesome he's got a ski mask he's got tattoos bracelets and a gold watch which all of them are visible in first person and there are no sleeves to ruin your combos which is one of the best things about this agent. The price of this one is just under the budget for $19.8. Next up the safe cracker Voltsman, which basically has pink hair and short white sleeves I don't personally really like this one but it is very popular so I had to include it in the video and the price of this one is going to be around $11.3. Next up the Dr. Romanov Saber and let's be honest this guy looks pretty cool but the problem is I do not like his sleeves in first person or in game and they basically ruin a lot of combos. However, it is pretty cheap for $6, so if you have a combo that fits with the sleeves, it might be pretty good. And then the Sir Bloody Silent Daryl, which is similar to the other Daryl that I showed you before. It also has a ski mask and bracelets, but the watch is silver instead of gold, so if you have a darker combo or just a silver combo in general, this one will fit much better and it costs $19.7, so the price is basically the same. Next up, the Dragomir Saber, and I don't understand why this one is so cheap. He looks pretty nice, but the big biggest problem with him for me personally is that he's got sleeves which will only work if you're running a red combo but for the price of $3.4 I think it's not bad at all. And then the elite Mr. McCulloch elite crew which this one is kind of like a small upgrade to the Dragomir Saber that I just showed you before. It does not have sleeves in game which is very nice for me but the truth is there are a lot of agents on the T side that don't have sleeves. So that is not really that big of a deal, but this one is actually really cheap because it only costs $5.5. That is it, let me know what agent you're running on both the T and the City side, and if you guys enjoyed leave a like and subscribe to the channel for daily CS2 content.